Okay. Hello everyone, my name's Nisha and I am the Yogic Amnesiac and we are back with another arcade block. I think it's August because we're in September right now, so this is probably the August arcade block. Um, just got it today, so let's get started and see what's inside of it. I literally just cut it open. Okay. So first off we ha oh nice. I might have to use this. We got a mug that it's a Tetris mug that changes depending on whether it's hot or cold. Maybe I can just change it with my body temperature and show you guys. That would be nice. I keep like saying something while I open these. Okay, so it's a little scratched up and stuff. Wow, that's more than a little, but <laughs> um, this is what it looks like. Let me see, there's some glare on it. I don't know if I can get the glare off of it, but anyway, there it is. Um, I'm gonna hold it for a couple seconds and we'll see if I can warm it up in a... so that you can see what it looks like and I can see what it looks like because I think body heat should work just fine. Okay, I think you need boiling water in this. Dang it, why isn't my body temperature enough to just do this? Oh well, I'll put some hot water in this later. And uh, probably be too lazy to put the picture in to show you guys. But this is what it looks like and then little extra pieces appear. A la the box art. So, there. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have a Five Nights at Freddy's vinyl figure, which is more um, down my alley than Alan's, so probably good that I'm the one opening this. Not that I've played it, but the gameplay I've seen, it looks really interesting. At least the first few did. I think they're a little hyped, but you're allowed to enjoy what you want, right? Okay. Um... Let's see what's inside. Looks like there's a bunch that it could be. I don't think I have a preference of figures. I guess I have ones that I'd rather get, but overall, any are fine. Oh my, I just knew it was gonna be Chica. And I think I have I think Chica's on the Five Nights at Freddy's shirt, so we have a little Chica figure, and I'm too lazy to zoom in, so there's your Chica figure. It's pretty funny looking. Um, super creepy, but adorable, I guess. There. You can sit right there, which isn't even on video. Alright, next up we got a shirt, which is not my size. And it's a Legend of Zelda shirt. Yeah, that's Legend of Zelda. That's cool. It's like the eye thingy from Ocarina, but that doesn't look like it belongs in Ocarina. I don't know. That's cool. Maybe Alan saw that the shirt was going to be Legend of Zelda, so he changed it. Which is fine, because I already got the really cool Legend of Zelda shirt. Alright, and then another figure. Ooh, these look weird. It's like a Super Mario figure. Series 7. Collect all 7! Connects. These are the kind of things you have to open to figure out what's in it. I always feel like weird. Oh, it's a Yoshi! I love Yoshi. He's a, the bomb. It's a little Yoshi figurine. That's super tiny. Okay, I guess I have to zoom in for this one. There he is. There's our little Yoshi. He's a little funny guy. And finally, we have a classic controller for PC and Mac, which we have one of these already, so we don't need to play emulators, really. I guess 
if for some reason we couldn't find a game, we could get an emulator and play it with this, which would be cool. But that is kind of cool. Also, I found out that these buttons are different colors in Japan than they are in the US. So, fun fact of the day. <clears throat> and finally, we have shirt punch per usual. Um, USB controller SNES edition. Oh, this is what's in this one. Great. I like how they actually have the $10 shirt punch credit as a perk that you get with this. Thanks, guys. That's lovely. Because it's not like you give it to us other times, too. Get five exclusive shirts every month with your shirt punch ad. And the next month is Sega Genesis and Assassin's Creed, which um, I think is one of the worst franchises in history of anything. It's just a bad franchise. I was literally watching a review of that yesterday with my brother. Anyway, so that is the, I guess, August? What is it, does it say if this is September? It just says next month. So I assume this is the August Arcade Block. I'll figure it out and put it in the title and everything. But thank you for watching. I was probably a little slow and boring today, but I'm a little sick, so I apologize for that. But you guys still got to see all the goodies we got. You guys got to see all the goodies we got. Um, they were kind of cool. I feel like we didn't get as much as we usually get, but we did get bigger things. Like we did get the mug and we got the controller. And there, it was full. Like, they couldn't have fit anything else in there unless it was really, really small. And we did get the two keychains last time, so that's okay. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, you know, whatever. I'll maybe see you guys in the next arcade block. I'm not sure, though. I might hold off on that until Alan gets back. I'll be sure to talk to him about that, but if it's coming in early October, you might see one more arcade block with me. Don't forget to check out the other videos that we have going on. I'm still doing the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. That's All of the videos are uploaded for that. Every single one um, is done and ready to go, so they're just slowly getting published week by week. So you can continue watching that, and we do finish the entire game, and it was a lot of fun for me to do. And I think Dragon Quest and Bloodborne and random game pickups and game hunters and all sorts of things are still coming up, so don't forget to check out the other videos on 7up07's channel, and I will see you guys in another video in the future!